you know, as an architect, when I think about line and form, and I think about how do you describe a 9-11 in the least amount of lines, it's always about, it's always about this line. When the 9-11 came out, it really exaggerated that line and really um, has been what really establishes what a 9-11 is all about in my mind. So when we look at this, and again, we look at the, the line and form of the window, it's exactly the same idea that we have in the 2020. And of course, we look at the, the nose and we look at these lines. Now here, the fenders are a little more exaggerated because the car was a much smaller car than what it is today, but it's the same essence as you, uh, as you sit behind the wheel, it, uh, it feels the same. And the dashboard, the original early dashboards in the 911 had that extra little curvilinear section at the bottom of the dash as they brought back in, in this car. So, so Warren, uh, one of the things that I really find exciting about the new 911 is the fact that it's 448 horsepower now. You may re remember from the old days, you know, a 911 was I think 170, 172 right. horsepower, and now we're at 448 horsepower. I so know. clearly the car moves a little differently. But the other aspect that they've really brought forward in the new car is the wide body. That really brings that turbo-esque yeah. nature to this car, no matter which engine type that you choose. As they say, there is no substitute, and this is the best of the best. I couldn't be more thrilled. I absolutely love the car in every aspect.